Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So once again, we find ourselves at the beginning of another month, and that means StatCounter has rolled out their latest global stat survey results for the desktop Windows version market share. And for August last month, we have one or two interesting things taking place. Now, first of all, when it comes to the percentages, one remains exactly the same. Two have decreased in market share and three have increased in market share. Now, the one remaining exactly the same is Windows 8.1. Remains at 0.23% between July and August. Windows XP has decreased from 0.44% to 0.38%. Windows 8 has actually increased from 0.88% to 1.13%. Windows 7 has increased quite significantly from 2.04% to 3.54%. We'll take a look at a possible reason for that why shortly. Windows 10, which has been nosediving over the last two months or so because of that upcoming end of support, has actually increased in its market share from 42.99% to 45.65%. And Windows 11, which has been steadily increasing over the last two, three months, has now decreased from 53.39% to 49.02%. So very interesting that give or take, there's a 4%, give or take 4% difference now only between Windows 10 and Windows 11. So it's going to be interesting to see if Windows 10 actually gains and catches up to Windows 11 over the next coming months. I seriously doubt it, but it's going to be an interesting one to watch. Now, getting back to why I think these changes are taking place. I think Windows 7 has increased because a lot of users are not wanting to upgrade to Windows 11 and are actually moving back to Windows 7. I see quite a lot of that in the comments and in reports during the rounds online. So that could be another reason why, because of that upcoming end of support, not wanting to move on to Windows 11. And then Windows 10, I think the reason that's increasing is because of the ESU program, the Extended Security Updates program, where you can get an extra year of support if you are a home user and if you are a enterprise user, you can get up to three years of support. So that's another possible reason why I think that may be increasing again. And a possible reason why Windows 11 could be decreasing is what I've just mentioned between Windows 7 and Windows 10, users not wanting to upgrade to Windows 11. So that could be causing Windows 11 to decrease. But the reason I say I don't think Windows 10 will actually gain on Windows 11 is because all your new devices, laptops and so on, come with Windows 11 pre-installed. But let me know what you think in the comments. That's just a quick, off the top of my head, why that could be happening. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Now, if we head to the chart for a wider overview, here we can see that from May of this year, Windows 11 increased. We can see that there clearly on the chart. And then from the same time period, Windows 10 decreased. And that's where I posted last month. And now we can see now that Windows 11 has kind of nosedived there. And Windows 10 has increased. So very close to one another again. And interesting if that's going to overlap. And then yeah, if we head to the bottom, we can see Windows 7 over the last month has slightly increased and as mentioned, I think that's because of that upcoming Windows 10 end of support. So some interesting stuff going on here, especially here in the top three. And that's going to be a very interesting one to watch in the future. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.